They definitely passed the jiggle test. <laughs> so hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're new here, hello or welcome. I'm Drac, but when I'm in drag, I go by Luna Rose, cause I'm the flower that blooms at night. And as you can read from the title of today's video, today we're gonna be debuting and reviewing my H cup, that's right, H cup breastplate from Rowania. So let's get into it, shall we? Can't wait to wear them. <laughs> So the breastplate I will be debuting in today's video was sent to me from the brand Rowania themselves. I will leave all their details down below as well as the specific breastplate I chose. But the breastplate I chose is the H-Cup Natural Breastplate and it is currently retailing for £125. pounds. Literally a bargain. It does normally retail for £280. So still a complete bargain for a H-Cup breastplate since... Each cup is um, big, my back is going to be hurting in a minute, and I picked it up in the colour natural and I chose the silicone filling to make it a little bit more like bouncy and squishy. You can also pay an additional fee if you want the mould lines removing, which will help, you know, blend it and look nice and seamless, but I didn't go for that option. Generally, if I'm wearing a breastplate, I will wear something like to cover those edges, but all in all, it cost me like £160 H cup natural breastplate. Let's give it a whirl, girl. I'm struggling to pick it up, but the breastplate arrives in a really cute little box with a bow. I'm just going to put a bra on it to kind of censor the nipples, since it does come with nipples, just so YouTube doesn't block me and report me, but um, based on the weight of this box alone, I'm fairly sure my back is going to hurt tomorrow, like, girl, these are heavy! <laughs> Wowchers, these are massive. <laughs> okay, and then this is what the breastplate looks like. This is a full on workout to be holding this up for you guys now. But like I said, I just put a bra over it to um, hide the nipples so I don't get blocked on YouTube. But it is one of them breastplates that has like the really high neckline. However, this feels very nice and stretchy. So it should be nice and easy to take on and off and hopefully not too uncomfortable. But um, yeah, this is what she looks like kind of fresh out of the box. I can safely say they come with a lot of jiggle and they are definitely the biggest boobs I have ever attempted to wear and probably will ever wear in my life but um i'll be right back with them on <laughs> can't wait and then this is what they look like on let me know what you think of them down below like i said they do have that like high neckline which personally i'm not the biggest fan of generally i will just like cut this but then i will have to wear a necklace to kind of hide that um top seam. Speaking of seams, like all breastplates, you do kind of have the kind of edge portions that you will need to cover unless like you really don't care. Generally, if I'm going to wear a breastplate, I will wear something with thicker straps down the side anyway, just to help support them. But um, yeah, these girls are absolutely ginormous. I don't have a bra like actually big enough to hold them, but they um. They have some serious weight and jiggle to them. I'm going to be right back with a dress to kind of flatter this and um, we can discuss the girl some more. <laughs> and then this is what she looks like on. Let me know what you think of her down below. I literally had to search through my entire wardrobe to find a dress to like house and hold down these bad boys since, um, girl, did I say this is a H cup breastplate? H cup. These things are ginormous, and because they're silicone filled, they literally bounce and go like everywhere so easily. My only like slight gripe about this breastplate is, like I said, the kind of high neck thing just isn't really for me. That's actually also really weird to see. But generally what I'm gonna do is just cut it and then wear a necklace. I'd much prefer that rather than like the suffocation of the high neck. And I don't feel like I've got a long enough neck to like keep it smooth. But um, yeah, that is literally my only gripe about this breastplate. Honestly, I am so impressed with like the movement, the size, everything to do with it is genuinely like jaw dropping, mind blowing. And for the price of £125, like I would honestly be happy paying 280 for these. But the fact that they are £125 for this, girl, I am chuffed. <laughs> I also think the colour match isn't actually like all that bad of me. Like you can kind of see obviously like the edges of it. But genuinely, I don't think it's the worst if I had a little bit of fake tan on and like bronze up my body. I think I could get away with like the edges since they're not actually like really thick and noticeable. So um, win-win girl. I'm gonna do this like literally for hours. 
But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this debut and review of my new silicone breastplate from Rowania. I would solidly give this an 8 out of 10. The only points I will deduct is for the high neckline, but that is more just personal preference. But I would 100% recommend this breastplate. And like I said, I will leave it linked down below along with Rowania's like website and social media and the works of it all. And thank you so much for sending this breastplate my way. Honestly, I am so happy with her and I would definitely get a lot of use out of her. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you think of the new girls, and don't forget to subscribe to The Girl Next Door with so much more now, like literally so much more now. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. I love them. I love them.